Israel has entered what it calls a new phase of its war against Hamas, with a military advance deep into the heart of Gaza. Israel has launched ground invasions of Gaza before, most recently in 2009 and 2014. Israel is at war. But this time, Israeli forces plan to go further in a multi-phased offensive into Gaza's sprawling cities with the aim of destroying the military capabilities of Hamas, a US-designated terror group. Here's a look at how Israeli ground forces invaded Gaza in 2009 and 2014 and what that reveals about Israel's current operation. Israeli ground forces' most far-reaching military incursion into Gaza came during Operation Cast Lead in 2009. In response to a barrage of Hamas rockets, thousands of Israeli troops entered Gaza from the north and east under the cover of artillery fire. The three-week offensive saw extensive street-to-street -street fighting as Israeli ground forces pushed towards Gaza City with the aim of taking control of rocket launch sites. You have to understand the, the way the Gaza is built. Yossi Kupavasa is a former head of Israel's military intelligence division. Between the populated area and the Israeli territory, there's an open area. It's very difficult to, to move towards the populated area because you're totally exposed. As soldiers advanced towards Gaza's major cities, they reported finding dozens of buildings booby-trapped with explosives intended to inflict casualties on Israeli troops. That's why we prefer to prepare the battlefield by a lot of airstrikes to weaken the enemy, so that when we enter, the, their abilities are going to be decimated. During the offensive, the IDF remained on the outskirts of Gaza's main cities. This kept Israel's casualties low, but limited its ability to target Hamas infrastructure in built-up areas. We didn't mean to take over Gaza. In 2009, we dealt with the outskirts of some of the main cities, but didn't have any intention to actually enter the center of town. We didn't put a goal for ourselves, the uprooting of Hamas from Gaza entirely. We realized that Hamas is going to stay in place. And that was a mistake because all these rounds were ended with an agreement that uh, enabled Hamas to rearm itself pretty soon. By the time the operation ended with Israel's implementation of a unilateral ceasefire, 1,300 Palestinians and 13 Israelis had been killed. A UN fact-finding mission found evidence suggesting both Palestinian armed groups and Israel committed actions amounting to war crimes during the conflict. Israel's most recent ground offensive into Gaza was limited in scope to destroying aspects of Hamas infrastructure in the enclave. In July 2014, Israel launched Operation Protective Edge in response to rockets and mortar fire from Hamas. The Israeli government initially launched an aerial operation to destroy a vast network of underground tunnels Hamas had constructed to store weapons, including rockets fired by the group into Israel. After Hamas militants used a tunnel to launch a raid on a kibbutz in southern Israel, the government authorized ground troops to cross into Gaza with the aim of destroying cross-border tunnels. Every attempt to enter the Gaza Strip on, on, uh, on the ground, it involves, first of all, anti-tank missiles, mines, booby traps that uh, are located in places where you want to enter. Israeli troops and armor pushed into Gaza in an effort to locate the entrances to the border tunnels. During the seven-week operation, the IDF said it discovered 62 miles of tunnels. The problem with tunnels is that you don't see them. It was not easy for us to locate them. And we had to have a very strong intelligence effort to find out where they are. We had to develop a special technique that would explode them and make them not function. Israel says its troops destroyed 32 tunnels, 14 of which infiltrated into Israeli territory. The 2014 conflict ended when troops withdrew from Gaza under a ceasefire agreement reached at the end of August that year. The logic at the time was that we 
inflict this heavy blow on, uh, in, on the infrastructure, cost them a lot of uh, operatives and deal harshly with their rockets uh, launching capabilities, to the point that they will ask for ceasefire under our conditions. Sometimes it took uh, longer and sometimes it took uh, shorter time before they resumed the, the terror operations, but uh, they were always were capable of recovering relatively fast. The fighting had killed 2,000 Palestinians and 72 Israelis. A United Nations panel found evidence indicating war crimes may have been committed by both Israel and Palestinian militant groups during the conflict. Israel's previous ground offensives in Gaza were much more limited in scope than what its military is aiming to do now. Since Hamas took power in Gaza, Israel hasn't tried to eliminate the group's military infrastructure and leadership in the enclave. For many, many years, in any of the previous rounds, we tried not to end up with uh, taking over Gaza. But it seems that uh, this time, we just cannot afford any other solution. We have to take Gaza. A ground invasion with the aim of going into Gaza's cities to destroy Hamas presents one of the biggest challenges the Israeli military has faced in decades. This is a dangerous move for any army. It has to be done slowly and carefully and will cost a lot of lives. 